next speaker for the day, architect Shinwas. He is going to speak on building construction and materials. Fifth semester, it's on page 43 of the syllabus. Pastor Kumar has given you a, a plethora of engineering services as architects that we should know. But I think he has also scared us so much that is, is that so much that we have to pump into our students? I think we require to look at principles, we require to understand the aspects which we should know, basics, so that we can interact with our service consultants. So with this I begin. Now, the fifth semester syllabus for construction is on materials which we feel is very fragile. That is a lot of it in glass. Now glass has become an uh, important material of construction for all architects because it endures us. We all love glass. We all feel our buildings are transparent with glass. Now there are other things that we should understand when we introduce a material as fragile, as delicate and as hazardous to mankind. Now, how do we do this? One of the issues that I would like to put across is here, the, the whole aspect of handling glass is about precision and intricate engineering qualities that we should have in putting glass to our building use. Now, this cannot be explained in, in a classroom. It's impossible to understand the precision with which you handle glass. It is very, very important that the industry specialists who have evolved different kinds of system to use glass in the building industry have to be involved. If you don't involve them, I think as architects, we will not be able to figure out the new technologies, the new systems that are there. Anyway, the criteria that I look at it in terms of understanding the fifth semester construction syllabi is that we should train our young architects to the coming age which they would become architects of the future. So that is the time when we have to innovate. So, it is very, very important to see that the scientific temper of innovation in adapting the technologies that the student is to know and how he can apply that. For that, hands-on work is important. Now, how do we do this? I think all the institutions will have to set up workshops so that students can participate, so that students become versatile in using products which are available in the market. Today, if you go to the hardware store, even a professional architect is endured with a variety of systems, variety of technologies that are available. So it's very, very difficult for the student to comprehend this in the shortest possible time. However, if we can generate that the student is interacted with the industry professionals or professional architects who have worked on glass, I think the student would certainly be able to garner a little of the knowledge and then elaborate and work upon it. Now, the three, three things that I would like to look at it here is that when we look at glass, we have to also get into the history of glass, how glass came into existence. And we always had used glass as the minimalistic level in the past. But today, technology has given us the strength to use glass in abundance. And glass has become the material of tomorrow. Now, we should entertain our students to see how we, they can use glass. Now, in the syllabi, the, the 
breaking up of things. Another point that I would like to make across here is this is all about detailing. The whole syllabi and the kind of work that the student is supposed to do in the fifth semester is all about detailing. I would rather recommend or request the Board of Studies to look into this and see that this precise detailing part of, of the syllabi of the construction can come in the sixth semester where the student is a little more mature to handle the precision work. Now I can ask or request the sixth semester, the large span structure, the steel uh, structures which are in the generalized category can come into the fifth semester where the student can learn all about the, the steel as a material and its construction and technology in terms of using steel in, in, in buildings and thereby use glass later on as, as an applied technology with the base as steel, which I am sure all of us are aware of. So that's one of the recommendations that I am putting across. The other thing that I would like to state is there are too many plates which is being broken up in the syllabi as given to us. I think we should concise and do a lot more seminars. The student should be given pictures of applications of glass and you should imbibe the student in, in context to making him figure out how the glass has been used, the systems that he has to adapt to figure it out. Otherwise, what happens is he would simply copy and say, okay, the vendor is going to do it. Now, if we have to innovate, we first should understand what are the limitations the vendor has put in in terms of his design and what architects should know to see that you cross those limitations so that innovations are possible. So that I think is good enough and as far as I think we are trying to look at materials which we have too many limitations like because most of the products that we are studying in the fifth semester is limited by manufactured materials. Now I think wood which is the most primitive or the first building material that we used facilitates architects to experiment much much more because it has the flexibility to mend itself to the needs of the architect in pushing how he can use glass as a larger entity. Can you reduce this please? Now if we can figure out a system where we could bring a versatile material as versatile as wood so that this, the student is exploring with that material. And I think that would facilitate the student to get beyond what is technically possible. Now most of us in our construction endurance to student, we give them plates, we give them our syllabi which is almost 40 years old, we ask them to replicate them. I think that should come to an end. What I would suggest here is, I'm not saying, saying the student should not get into what was the past, what was the detail there, how he can use that today with the new essence of design value. See, I, until unless we bring in a design value, that is the essence of time, that the essence of being present today, we will not be able to put that issue to the mind of the student. What has happened in history or what has happened in the history of schools is we are only referring the same books, same plates, same methodology. I think we should change. We as architects should change we should generate that principal value of design as the primary criteria and application which facilitates design. So construction is not 
is a technology but it is not design it is an implication to the design and we should put this point to the student from the beginning and if you don't i think we will be only adapting the same scenario i give you an example i was asked to one of my projects that when in, when one of my student architects came to my project and said sir we have been doing this door detail for the last 40 years of your practice how is it the door detail is not changed i was aghast i said oh this is a point that i have not even noted and i think we should facilitate student to think aloud i am sure many of us who were in the masa function the other day mr mathuro certainly put across one door design which can open only for one person that is innovation that is how we should put across the point of view that we should innovate as architects our responsibility is innovation if we don't we keep on adapting the same thing over and over again i think we are sending out a wrong message and that is why many of i am very sorry to not offend the engineer community the engineers always say what is it that you architects do beyond the engineering field which i think we all have to address i think architects are some one way beyond i'm not trying to say we are engineers we respect our engineering fraternity as much as possible as how as we respect our own profession but that doesn't mean that we should keep quiet and say okay the engineer can be an architect so with this i think i would like to put across my end to my deliberations and i say thank you